You've seen fitness pioneer High Voltage on Hollywood Extra, The Today Show, and The Katie Couric Show, but pretty soon you'll be seeing her as well in bookstores across America. Her new book, Sugar Savvy Solutions, out on Reader's Digest, is arriving in bookstores this fall, and it's geared towards helping America kick their sugar addiction. getting sober from drugs and alcohol, when I would eat sugary foods and processed foods, I recognized the behavior. I recognized the brain chemistry. I knew what addictive behavior was because I had it with drugs and, and alcohol. So back then, my program, I lived there for three years. I was the director of the Harbor Island Spa. Every week I had three to 500 different people to play with and try different programs and different things. That's where the Energy Up program was put together 30 years ago. Katie Cork, who's been very helpful to me and very important in my life. I got involved with Katie's life when her husband passed on and she had a lot to do with my changing over from kind of this rich, you know, fun, but not as meaningful. Katie was the first person I'd ever met with the kind of money, she'd hate to hear me say that, but, um, you know, so successful and, and deserves to be, but so down to earth and so real. And I had a lot to do with Katie um, kind of changing her style a bit and um, she had a profound effect on me and to this day we're still very close friends. Um, Katie was doing the Today Show at the time, they followed Energy Up, we got calls from people all over the country wanting the Energy Up program but basically it was just me, it was me and a few people who helped me so I created a 501c3 which is what we are today and started building a board of direct, you know, a board to work with with my program and we just got so good at doing the program. And you know, I've always recognized that sugar is America's number one drug. It actually is. And millions of people need to kick sugar to the curb if they can't use it moderately and um, intelligently. So I created the program, meaning the Sugar Savvy program, that is moderation. I got so tired of hearing, voltage moderation is the key to success. You know, I'm like, well, do you understand what moderation is? Moderation actually means no more than 24 grams in 24 hours. And if we can just get America to understand and use sugar responsibly, I will feel like we have done an amazing job. Eleven years ago, I went to a luncheon at Mother Cabrini High School and thought I was just going to a luncheon for Rudy Giuliani. It was right after 9-11. And while I was there, I just put an entire town of Huntington, Long Island on my program with the TV show Extra. So I had just come from doing a program with large groups of people. So I donated my time for four weeks to Mother Cabrini High School. I never left. I fell in love with the girls. I told the sisters at the school, well, if I'm gonna come in, you have to let me do what I do. We're loud, we're proud. Top DJs put together my music. We do food tastings. The girls, when they come in, they all get to wear glitter and rhinestones and you have to sparkle on the inside, just sparkle on the out. We do our affirmations while we move. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm powerful. It's like a show. We call it an energy concert. Your body's your instrument. We're here to jam. Well, as I'm telling the nun all of this, I, I'm thinking, well, she'll, I don't think I'll ever hear from these people again. They called me back immediately. They said, Voltage, we think you'd be wonderful for our girls. And I, a true love affair went between myself and these beautiful young ladies. 
And at the end of the four weeks, like, oh, Voltage, please, can you stay for another month? Of course, stayed another month, stayed another two months. As I said, that was 11 years ago. So I'm just curious, are those actually rhinestones on your, your dumbbells? Well, not only are they rhinestones, but they're Savorsky rhinestones. Savorsky rhinestone <laughs> yes, dumbbells. Yes, they are. Um, Completely. I've, ne <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> now, were those specially made for you? But of course. <laughs> wow. Well, as I said, I like everything being blinged out, sparkly and fun. And that includes my weights. That makes sense because a lot of people don't really enjoy working out. So this adds a little bit of fun. Well, same reason that my clothes and what I wear are not customary when one thinks of working out. Um, I can change shoes and put flat sneakers on and work out in this outfit. I can change it up, put on a strappy high heel and be on the red carpet. <laughs> so yes. it goes in all directions. That's wonderful. And it's fun. Honestly, the reason my mirror, my apartment is all mirrors is I like seeing every angle. So many people and so many women, there's no mirrors in their homes anymore or they're afraid to get on a scale. And I always tell everyone, the girls, their parents, teachers that I work with, that it's a, a scale is reality. And it doesn't, and it shows cause and effect. So. You go out for dinner, you have something salty, the next day you wake up, everything hurts, you're puffy, you weigh three to five pounds more, and that's salt, re that's water retention. And you really start to connect, oh, when I eat this way, this is what happens. You know, part of being a sugar savvy sister in the Energy Up program is just dealing with reality. Not waiting, saying, oh, well I don't get on the scale, I go by my clothes. Honey, with the way clothes are today, you can gain 25 pounds and still be getting in the same clothes. So none of that mentality works. Clearly, obesity is off the charts. One in five on their way to becoming obese. We are, we're supersizing everything. We're supersizing ourselves. So we've got to get real, understand what's going on out there, deal with it, and just do your best. If you, you, know, if you like some junk in the trunk, cool, but make sure it's organized. Make sure that junk isn't all over the place. It's so funny to some of the girls, Voltage, I don't want to lose my booty. I'm like, honey, that booty's not going anywhere, but let's organize it. So it's not what size you are, it's how you feel. Find out what your BMI is. You know, we're not meant to carry around tremendous weight on our bodies. You know, that way, by the time you're 30, your knees start hurting, everything starts going. Live the energy up way, feel like this is 65, or, live their way, get the walker, and get used to doing this, honey, because this is where it's going. So, choice is yours. Voltage out, energy up. <laughs>